For months, we've tracked rising volcanic unrest across the Pacific Ring of Fire, watching system after system light up. Now, mainstream coverage is finally catching on. With so many volcanoes active at once, it's no longer being ignored. Russia's Klyuchevskoy erupted just yesterday, sending ash 12 kilometers into the atmosphere and lava flowing down its flanks. It's one of the strongest eruptions seen this year. In Alaska, Great Sitkin continues erupting steadily. Mount Spur is under advisory following a series of shallow quakes, a signal that matched its last eruption in 1992. Mount Rainier just experienced its largest quake swarm on record, with over 500 earthquakes in two days. While no surface changes have been detected, the pattern is being closely monitored. The axial seamount, located offshore Oregon, is showing ongoing inflation. Scientists still project a 2025 eruption, but with rising pressure already detected and past cycles showing little warning, that event could begin any time from now. Further around the ring, Sakurajima in Japan and Lewatobi in Indonesia both erupted this month. Merapi remains highly active, producing lava flows and ash columns. In Mexico, Popocatépetl continues its near-daily gas and ash emissions, affecting nearby towns and air traffic. This isn't localized activity. It's a chain of unrest spanning multiple subduction zones around the Pacific. Should the world be preparing for a major volcanic event? We don't know yet, but the pattern is concerning and we'll continue to track every development and report as it unfolds.